Do you know, I think that this combination could be my favorite street photography combo. I know that lots of people who love street photography go for the um, X Pro series, and I understand why, because it, you know, it matches the style. But I've always been someone who's just loved the X range, the XT range, and so for me, the I've been out shooting with the XT30 Mark II alongside this 23mm 1.4, the old one. And I just think this is probably my favorite combo for street photography. The reason is, is that the, obviously the XT30 is a small camera, you know, no one thinks you're anything more than a tourist. And so that's, that's great because you can be just discreet and you can, you know, shoot as you want. But the 23mm 1.4 lens, it's just got this characteristic to it which obviously it's lightweight and it's it's fast can shoot at 1.4 but it's just got its characteristic to it which for me just gives that um kind of real filmic look and i think this look from this lens is going to end up being a really nostalgic fujifilm um kind of look in the future you know as fujifilm gets sharper and sharper and goes down that higher resolution kind of path, I think we're gonna find that this kind of lens is gonna end up being a bit nostalgic, a bit like the 35 mil 1.4. And so I love it. And I'm up in London on South Bank and it's really calm. It's a great day for street photography. Um, I've got a shoot in a minute over there somewhere on a, on, a, on a boat on the Thames, but I thought I'd come and get a bit of uh, street shots done first. And just London's quiet today. I mean, I guess, the, you know, the tourist season, if there is one here, <laughs> has, um, has kind of gone now. And so it's pretty quiet. And so I'm just getting some shots and enjoying the atmosphere in London before my, my shoot starts. Now, one of the things I love about the um, XT30 Mark II for street photography as well, obviously I, I do like this, um, this screen that comes with it. It's not the XT4 screen, which obviously just come, you know, flips around and does everything, which is great for filming. But for street photography, I think that the, um, the this, this, I'll show you, this kind of screen is brilliant because you can actually just do a shot like this. You know, you can kind of come down and uh, look very kind of, you know, indiscreet. You don't look like you're kind of in someone's face. It's a really good way of shooting. Um, they call it chimping, don't they, I think, but you know, whatever they call it, it's fine. I find it a really good way of, of shooting. So let's get some shots. Oh, by the way, hold it. I just had this shot and I'll tell you. I am shooting all these photos that you're seeing. I'm shooting them on my new recipe, um, which if you're on my Patreon, you would have, um, you can have for free. And it's the Kodak Trimax 400 recipe. And I've been really enjoying um, kind of sitting down, working out the Kodak film on my X-T30 Mark II, just messing about with all the settings and just trying to get this recipe right. Um, and so I've been doing Kodak Ektar, um, Kodachrome, I've been doing um, uh, Kodak Gold, you know, a few different types, Portra. Um, but this one is the Kodak Trimax 400. And it's my kind of, you know, inspired version of it. You're never gonna get it perfect, but it works for me. And what I love about this, um, this uh, recipe and this film is that, you know, it's a really good distinction between black and white. And that's what that film is kind of known for. Really good contrasts, really fine grain, beautiful grain, um, and uh, sharp images. You know, it's kind of, I love that look, that black and white look. And so I've, I've made it, so if you want this, this, um, if you want this recipe, just go onto my Patreon. Just come there for a month, take all my recipes, and you can go again. <laughs> Feel free to do that. All right, these guys down here are getting a shot of each other. And I want to get a shot of them getting a shot of each other. <laughs> ah, they stopped. Oh well. It's a photo. Right, let's keep walking. I like this bit. If you've not been to London before, this is a cool bit. If you come from South Bank and walk down the, the, the Thames, over there you've got St. Paul's Cathedral and the city where all the kind of uh, financial kind of district is. 
and mixed in with it all you get these great little kind of look like, here you've got this little jetty here and you know a bit of older older london connected to all the new obviously st paul's is really old the great little um steamboat there going across london is always so full of like interesting things to see and shoot i do love coming in i used to live so near london and now i'm about an hour away but still near enough to kind of come and um you know enjoy the enjoy the city when i'm i've got shoots here i often have photo shoots up here so it's kind of quite a uh, a cool thing for me to be able to take a bit of extra time come a couple of hours early and get some shots always interesting right let's get another shot I really like this recipe, this Trimax. There's a beach down here. So. The other good thing about the XT30 Mark II is the, um, I can shoot one-handed, you know? I can be, got my phone in one hand talking to you guys and then I can easily shoot one-handedly. It's a light camera. This setup, I know it's bigger than what most people would kind of consider to be their street photography setup. They would go for a, maybe a pancake lens or something, but it's not that big and it's very lightweight. Um, I just love the way this, I love the way this uh, lens renders color. On, and even, even in black and white, I love the way it renders the, renders the, um, the scene. And the fact that you can now completely customize these um, you know, these cameras, it's, it makes the new X-Trans 4 cameras, you know, even better because you don't just have to shoot, you know, the latest colors and things. You can actually go in and create your own. And that's what I love doing is just creating my own, my own color or my own black and white. Or mimicking, like I've been doing, mimicking the old Kodak. I think at some point I'll start having a look at the, um, uh, some of the old Fuji films as well, you know, there's the Superior, isn't there? And um, oh, there's loads of them. Um, I'll start thinking about some of those colors, those films as well, because I really enjoy making these recipes. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Do come and, um, do come and uh, join me on my Patreon and get my recipes. You're welcome to do that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.